Ready? Hi guys! Welcome back everybody! Welcome back everybody. Uh, we should do that again. Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome back, back everybody. everybody. Ha ha! We nailed it. We're such goobers, that's okay. Um, we are back out at the goat shed. We've got a, a roof over our heads. Um, David, just in case you're wondering, you're still with us. <laughs> I'm using all your measurements that you gave me to uh, get this thing done. Um, the weather has been really what? Scottish. And so <laughs> we are going to... Uh, <laughs> We're going to work underneath here. We have a roof, so why not use it? Um, so we are going to be uh, hopefully finishing the siding up today. Do you think we can get it done? I do, yes. Okay, so I've got my grinder. Okay. We're going to cut some metal. Um, we got our screw guns. We're just going to get the siding all up and then uh, frame in a new door, another door. The idea with this goat shed is that there's a door right next to Katie and there will be a door right here. And then the fence line goes right down the edge of the, uh, the goat house so that we can literally uh, have them in paddock number one and shut the door at night and then open up the door to paddock number two in the morning. So moving our goats is going to be easy peasy. And then um, as we add more paddocks, as we work our way you know, down our, our uh, fence line here, <coughs> Uh, towards the sawmill area, we'll, we will just build more of these shelters and be able to just move them from paddock to paddock. So actually between two and three will just be a gate. So we'll let them out in the morning and then feed them in paddock number three. Yeah, we'll get them bucket changed. Anyways, we'll figure all that out down the road. Yeah. Moral of the story is we're going to try and finish this shed today. So um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy this episode of uh, Building a Goat Shelter.
All right, guys, exciting. Last piece of siding right here. We just had one tiny little gap there. One little gap. So it'll get two screws in the top and then two screws from sheet to sheet, baby. Make a so? Yep. So you're saying like... Do the top right. right. Do the top right. don't need to overdrive them. The rubber washer on there will keep it from getting jacked up. Okay, and then we're doing the next one. Um, top left. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. okay, and then drive same places, one and two. And it'll suck the two sheets together. Actually, undo it. Yeah, you're good right there. So we're gonna cover the corners. Just keep going. No. There you go. Excellent work. Yep, same thing. Just don't overdrive it or it'll strip the screw. Excellent work, huh? All right, her goat shed is done. Not really, we still gotta build doors and stuff, but all the siding is up and it is exciting. And you know what's really cool? Nope. It's all recycled materials. Yep, 100%. And we, didn't buy, we did buy some gutter for it. We did. And some door hardware. You are dirty. You are dirty, so don't hang on stuff. Cause you're gonna <laughs> make it harder for us. You're gonna make it dirty too. I know. Um, but yeah, this, this is old, um, dock Please. 10 right. that my dad had pulled off it was just in a scrap pile and then the two by sixes are like pallet yeah it's all pallet, pallet material, material that katie found and thank you grandma sue the two by fours we had from they the were old pallet but they were old pallet material right from down the road no this is this is we have nothing new on here except for the t-posts uh -huh. this is all 100 yes. percent and the screws we bought new screws for it yeah that'd be yeah so. Oh, the and then we have like the gutter and hardware. Yep. And so. then we had a rain barrel. I think we're gonna use this. Oh no, we talked about getting an IBC tote. We talked about getting a 300 gallon IBC Which I tote. I think makes sense. I think we should do it. The roof is large enough. I think it'll gather quite a bit. For sure. For it's now, we can hook little... that up since that's all we have. And we already have it, so we might as well put it under it. So. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get back to work, guys. All right, we also. Got gutters on. What do you think, honey? Yay! Yay, there was much rejoicing. So, uh, the gutters right now are just kind of open ended. A uh, little drip down into this rain barrel. The rain barrel, I uh, don't have the fittings for. I need to get the fittings to plug them up and uh, attach a hose to the bottom. So, but for now, it'll divert it away, I hope. I think maybe probably not it'll divert it away from where we're building so that's all that matters to me so all right i am going to work on framing this doorway out the same way that i did the other side and uh yeah then other than putting a door on these bad boys we're ready so we'll start uh working on hanging the gate getting the fencing laid out start driving t-posts get our fence up get the goats one week we have one week. Ish. Ah! No, we're fine. Week from Friday, she says. I mean, yeah, I am. All right, guys. The goat shed. Siding and roof is done. I need to build two doors. We might work on that tomorrow, but tomorrow we are going to focus on getting the rest of the T-posts up. We've already driven... Sorry, I have my handy dandy shotgun here. Um, it is turkey season, so I'm keeping it close while we're out here. And uh, we have this front front line done right here, okay? The exterior fence, we've decided uh, that's 80 feet. We're gonna make it 80 by 80 square. 
and then that'll be two paddocks. So we'll have 40 by 80 per paddock and uh, it works out perfectly. We'll have about 10 feet between the uh, top of our fence and the driveway so we can let that grow wild and have a nice screen between us and our neighbor's place. So anyways, we are done for the day, but if this is the end of the video, may Yahuwah bless you. Thank you for watching. Thanks. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.